This is how to make a super easy and efficient sorting system for any base size in Rust. So you're going to want to start off by putting all the storage adapters on your boxes. Um, this is going to be your drop box. So this is going to, where you're going to be where you're going to put items, and they will be sorted into all these boxes. Um, next, we're going to make our splitter array. So normally, I like to do nine outputs for a normal size base, but if you have a bigger plan base, then you might need more. Um, so connect them like this. And this splitter array is going to give us nine filters. So nine different conveyor filters for, let's say, components and weapons. You can have multiple boxes for each filter. If you need more, you can simply just add more splitters and then connect these down to these to make way more so it would probably be it's 27 if you do for this we only need three so connect up your drop box to the top of the first splitter and now all of these outputs are connected up to this box if you have multiple drop boxes that's fine just connect the output to the input of the next one and kind of create a chain you can do it for a lot of drop boxes. Now, we're going to want to set up the conveyors, which are going to be our filters. So we're going to do something like this. And connect the inputs to the outputs of the splitters, just like that. So for this, I only needed one splitter, or I guess two, but it's good to have more, just in case you need to make more filters. Um, and then connect your outputs to the boxes. So just like this. And if you have multiple boxes for one category, you can just connect it to the next one like that. And now you have all of your industrial setup. Um, now you're going to take whatever power output you have, whether this be a battery or windmill or whatever. It can be anything. You don't need much power for this. So you're going to power in, take your pass through, and bring it to the next conveyor. And just do that for as many conveyors as you want. And now you have everything set up. So now you can change the filter. So this is going to be an ammo box. So you just type it in, whatever item, you can do items or categories, they have these nice categories. And you can set the filter mode, but you just want it to be any item, and then click apply. So I'm going to do components, and for components you need to put targeting computer and camera manually. And then this will be weapons. Make sure you turn these on. And now the sorting system is completely set up, so we can take any any weapons, any components, and any ammunition that you have, put it all in the box, and it will all automatically be sorted. You can hear those conveyors going off. It will all be put into these boxes, respectively. Um, if you have multiple, it'll split them. And the splitting doesn't happen for weapons because you can't stack them. Uh, if you need to add more, you just do the same process. You just add a box. Oh, I forgot to show. Yes, it does work for the uh, connected drop box. It all gets sorted. So if you want to add more boxes, all you have to do is place down another box, and then put another conveyor, bring an output over to the conveyor, and then bring it to the adapter that is connected to the box. Make sure to power the conveyor. Set a filter and turn it on. And now any resources, say stone, will be put into 
this box. Very easy.